Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to make dynamic timeline in PHP. Timeline means display event which has been occur on particular time. So now we want to stylish way to present event which has been occur on particular time on web page format. So for this here we have used jQuery timeline plugin with PHP script. By using this jQuery timeline plugin we can create responsive horizontal and vertical timeline from dynamic data which can fetch from MYSQL table by using PHP. So here we will create dynamic responsive horizontal or vertical timeline by using jQuery timeline plugin by using PHP script with MYSQL. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database and in this we have one timeline table with three column like ID, year, and comment. In this table we have already inserted some data of event which has been occur in particular year, so we will fetch data from this table and display on web page in timeline format by using jQuery timeline plugin. This is the GitHub page of this jQuery timeline plugin and we can download this plugin from this page. This is our index page and in this page we have already included some JavaScript and style sheet file which has been required. First link is for JavaScript library jQuery, second link for jQuery timeline plugin JavaScript file, third is for bootstrap style sheet library and last is for timeline plugin style sheet file. Now we want to fetch data from timeline database, so here first we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nuke class with three argument. In first argument we have write mysql host is equal to local host, database name set to testing, username argument set to root and password argument set to blank. After this we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from timeline table order by id in ascending order. This is simple select query for fetch all data from timeline table. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable, this statement make query for execution. For execute query we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, by using this method we can execute select query. After query execution we want to fetch query execution result, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. Now we have moved to write HTML code part, so here we have use bootstrap panel class and under this we will display timeline table data in stylish form by using jQuery timeline plugin. For this here under panel body class we have defined one division tag with class is equal to timeline, we will use this class as selector for jQuery timeline plugin. Under this class we have write division tag with class is equal to timeline wrap class. After this under this class we have defined one more division tag with class is equal to timeline items, in this class we will define list of timeline items. Under this class we have write PHP for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable, 
By using this loop we can fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop we have again write HTML division tag with class is equal to timeline item, this class for display single line item. Under this we have again define one more division tag with class is equal to timeline content, this class is for content of timeline. Now under this class we can display dynamic MYSQL data, so, first we want to display year column data, so we have write echo statement with dollar row year variable, it will display year in timeline heading. Same we want to display content under timeline, so here we have write echo statement with dollar row comment table column, it will display comment data under timeline content. On each loop it will make dynamic timeline on web page and this is simple code for create dynamic timeline. Now we have moved to write jQuery code for initialize jQuery timeline plugin. So here we have simply write jQuery with timeline class as selector with timeline method. This method will initialize jQuery timeline plugin on timeline class content, and by default it will display data timeline data in vertical direction. Friends here we can see when page has been load into browser then we can see timeline table data on web page in stylish timeline format in vertical direction. From this data we can easily understand on which year which event has been occur, because it has been stylish way to display on web page. But now we want to see this timeline in horizontal direction, for this we have to go to index page. On index page in jQuery timeline function we have add one option mode set to horizontal, this option will help us to display timeline data in horizontal direction. After this we have write second option visible item set to 4, this option will display only 4 timeline data will be visible on web page and next data will be seen by click next button. Friends first we have refresh of web page and after refresh of page here we can see vertical timeline direction has been changed to horizontal direction and on web page we can see only first 4 timeline data. For see next row timeline data we have click on this next button and after click on this button we can see next row of timeline data, so this way we can see next row of data on web page. This is completely responsive timeline, so we can easily seen in mobile and other devices also. So. If you want to display timeline in your website then this is very easy jQuery plugin and we can easily integrate into our web application. So, this way we can make dynamic responsive timeline in horizontal or vertical form by using jQuery timeline plugin with PHP and MySQL. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.